Okay, get out of here as well. Unfortunately, I would have tested both these Gigabyte boards, but unfortunately, they're both toast. This new tries to power up for two seconds and shuts back down. As you can see, we've got a fried chip. She's cooked. Too much cookification. Now, I think this series motherboard actually had the warped um, the bad LGA 775 socket. The Foxconn had a bad batch of um, sockets for these boards. I'm pretty sure it was for this model, actually. Because um, I think Max Arcade had a similar model. And he had sort of come across when it had that problem with the, uh, the CPU um, sockets would warp and cause um, the board not to power on at all. And all sorts of um, uh, stability issues. This is an identical one. I cleaned it up. No, this one does not power on whatsoever. Tried switching CPU, switching the RAMs, good switching RAM channels around. Tried everything. This does not want to power on. So something on this board is fried, unfortunately. It's got a good Core 2 Duo, 3 gigahertz, E8500. So that's all. I got a good uh, score off that. That's a bit of a shame. Would have been a nice uh, board for a little uh, Linux install. But um, unfortunately, it's bugged. Got the IDE strap off it to fix this one up. And uh, the XP hard drive on this does uh, the right boot, it gets to a start windows um, command screen and it just loops where you're going to get the start window. So I try to go in safe mode and it just loops. So it's the wrong machine on that formula on that hard drive. I was hoping it was going to be an, um, it was going to be uh, a, a small form factor installed, like a similar board to this, because he had a couple of these there, about 20 of them with these small form factor machines, and they were all just cheap Dell and Acer computers, so it was just all junk. If I had the room, and I was desperate for scrap money or something, I would have taken the whole lot, but no, what for? This is the only stuff worth getting. Is this the um, those two boards, those hard drives, and that's probably a bit, and that, and that's probably about it. That's, that's all that was worth worth keeping. The rest is just surely junk. Too far gone. That one there doesn't boot at all. So they're way too different XP installations. So I'm gonna I'm just rescuing some data off this before I wipe it. It's actually got a let's see, a backed up movie, The Invincible Iron Man. Yeah, why not? Keep that, and the rest will probably go on a bit. Oh, I'll check the games. Yeah, it's got some games on here. It's a good thing about Sequoia View. I want to see everything on this hard drive. It's a very good program, this. I recommend it. You get a hard, hard drive, you don't know what the hell is on it. You want to, um, the first thing I do, make sure it works first, and do a couple of virus scans to make sure there's no um, nothing bad in it to hurt this machine. And these both came clean which is good. What I'm up to now, I'm just seeing if there's anything worth it on this hard drive. I've got a couple of games off it already. Yeah, i386. 32-bit Windows XP on this machine, on this hard drive actually. A virtual RAM file. Games. Program files, games. So I have to go on the program files and back to games, games folder up off that. But this thing is, makes it so much easier. This is everything that's on this hard drive is on this. You can see it in here, it's all color-coded. Plenty of good program. This and there, I'll do, it, I'll do it with that next. I'll clean this up. Bit of Ajax, Ajax spray and what came up quite well. It's a Thailand, Thailand built hard drive too. This is a half decent hard drive. If someone out there has got a board that'll fit this hard drive, I'll be very happy because I, I want to just see what sort of security footage is on this thing. It's my own personal thing, I'm not going to get it doing anything else, so let's just have a look. It. All I'm going to do is wipe this thing and put it in this machine. That's what my attention is to this hard drive. If I can get another board for this thing, it'd be nice. Because being a security system, a surveillance recorder, this hard drive would have had a lot of hours on it. So it's been on, never ever ever turned off, and this chips just give up the ghost. It's never ever had a rest. I'm sure the rest of the drive should be okay. What's the date? 2004, I think it is. On the mould. There it is there. 2004. Ten, ten year old hard drive. 
a lovely good um, spare uh, logic board for this thing. It'd be worthwhile saving, so anyone out there can help would be uh, greatly appreciated. I just noticed something, but I do sure hope this board's alright, it'll still be pretty handy. Check this out! These capacitors went BOOM! It's like a hot water service rocket seen on Mythbusters. That's pretty much what they were in miniature. How bad are these pieces of garbage? SB con. <laughs> All of them are bulge, and that one element such a such a bang, it virtually cut that bloody cord in half and did the top of it so hard. Holy crap! That shit it's pants and pretty much shot them the kingdom come. Yeah. Mmm, cat guts. I hope that didn't contribute to the hard drive going bang. And look how hot this thing got. The fan got burnt out. The hard drive looks fine, so other than that burnt bit in the board. So this thing got bloody hot. It just it was never ever ever turned off. It leaves something on all the time. Something's gonna give up the ghost. Look how hot that thing got. Shit. Man. I hope that board's alright. What could I do with it actually? Hmm. It's a video interface board. It just takes an ordinary, uh, I'm guessing an ordinary um, VGA signal, processes it and records it onto the hard drive in a format the computer will recognise. Hmm. I wonder if this is rebuildable. I hope nothing else got, not, not, nothing else got damaged. 2200 micro 16 volt. I'm lucky I took this thing apart. I was going to plug it in and test it and see if it worked. I'm glad, glad, glad I didn't. See? Don't turn it on. Take it apart, as what Dave Jones says. Yeah, right. Good temperature range, my ass. Good pressure range, more like it. Holy shit. I didn't even want to vent. <laughs> Damn it, kaboom! 220 to run a microphone, 16 volt. That was a one. Yeah, they all are actually, they're all the same value. So I should have something to change those with. Put some, re recap this power supply, see if it works. Got a cap beside burnt cap, that looks to be okay. 140 volt, 1.2 amp the capacitor uses. Hang on, HSCs are burnt at the power supply. The actual specs of the power supply are stuck on that capacitor. That's odd. Let's put this power supply out. Huh, fuse isn't blown. Hopefully those chips are okay. Let's see if I can fix this. Oh, damn, that went bang. Okay, I just copy in all the stuff I need off that drive, and the rest could be pretty much wiped. Nothing else in there I'm interested in. It could be wiped. Let's get recapitalizing. Print date, PT45. From early 2000s, early 2000s this thing. Yeah, don't buy SB kind capacitors, they're all bad except for this one. Okay, well that's, once this hard drive's wiped, I'm going to ghost the installation off this onto that. So now I've got 40 gigabyte hard drive of Linux Mint on this machine, instead of the 8 gig. There's about one and a half gig fee space on that, and I haven't even set it all up with all the stuff I want on there. So, 40 gig hard drive is going to be having that installation put on it. Better be my uh, Linux and store on this one. Anyway, the first sort of caps, some TPOs, Nichicon and a Rubicon, and a Geoluxon. It's not worth putting high quality ones in here. I think that diode tested okay too. So, let's uh, give this thing a test. Alright, plug in and test. 5 volt rail first. Bit of switching sound. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's try the other one. This power supply might come in handy now. Ah, can't use two hands for this one. That one in there. To see the 12 volts working. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's fully functional. Would you look at that? There you go. Bird crap filled electrolytic capacitors stopped it. 
I'm lucky enough power supply to survive without getting too much stress put on it and didn't damage other components. How good is that? Beautiful. Alright. Um, I'll hook it up for a TV. What's the output? What does it use? The output's there. Alright, I'll get the uh, modulator and everything set up. See what, what the um, display on the screen this thing puts up. Make sure that board's all okay. Alright, it's all plugged in. Modulator for a vintage television. Power this baby up. Hey, it works! GZ Linden, Marlin, it's a Chinese thing, but it works! Oh, beautiful! Alright! I have a vintage TV with a Redneck security system on it. I was gonna get some cameras I could set up. Doesn't record, but still, how cool is that? Hey! The date in the time scene of you are too. Now, the time maybe not, but. No data. Looks like it's got a burnt phosphor screen, but I think that's just selected by the fault that was used before. Check that out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Nice. Anyway, have a good, have some fiddling around with this, see what I can get it to do. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.